Before we talk about the new album, I actually wanted to find out what's your best subject at school? Um, recess and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, I'm not. No, real best one. Sort of, they're just sort of. So, sort of, school's just sort of filling time, I think. Yeah, that's your attitude towards it? Uh, bit of a bit of a social life. You know, it's not. We don't think it's that important, but other people do. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's good fun. You know, it's, there's nothing really bad about it. Unless you get a heap of detentions or something. Do you get heaps of detentions? No. Nah. Not really. None at all, really. Do you find school a good escape from rock and roll? Do you kind of like to go to school because it gets away from all the crazy stuff that happens with the band? Yeah, it's sort of, um, it's sort of a lot slower. Like when we go away, everything's sort of like um, um, very sort of fast. And then you come back and it's sort of like, ah, oh, you wake up each morning and go, ah, oh, school. Okay. And it's sort of like, you know, a routine sort of thing. So it's, it's, it's good to get in a routine again, actually, yeah. Is it hard to fall back into that routine, though? Um, it is a bit, because um, having to get up at, um, you know, 8 o'clock each morning, like, you get days off and sometimes you just lay in bed till lunchtime when you're away sometimes and stuff like that. And it's a bit different having to get up at 8 every morning and get a uniform on and get your books and do your homework, all that sort of stuff. But it's okay. So you're you're the you're the lucky one in a way because you don't have to do it like every day of the year, yeah. whereas all your friends probably do. Yeah. In terms of uh, the first single tomorrow, how long ago does that seem to you? Does it seem like about ten years ago, or does it seem like it was quite recent? Yeah, I think having to play the song over and over again makes it seem ages ago as well. How it was about two years ago, wasn't it? A lot has happened. It is, it is probably only two years, but it seems like even more. Yeah, it seems like about ten, or right, that's for sure. Just having to play, you know, we, we we always joke around with Watto how we always have to um, play the song, you know, and, and we just, oh, we won't play it this time. And it's like, oh, again and again. But, you know, sometimes when the, when the crowd's sort of enjoying it and stuff like that, it makes it a lot better, you know. Does that make you change it in terms of how you play it on stage if the crowd really wants to hear it? Yeah, yeah it does. You know, when the crowd sort of um, is a bit bit of a lull there or something like that, you know, it sort of turns into, oh, this song again, you know, blah, blah, blah. But... When the crowd's really, you know, it's you know, it's like, oh, great, let's go. What do you reckon of this new album then, Chris? Heaps better for us, yeah. It's sort of like a big step from Frogstorm. I think we did three weeks this time instead of nine days or something, and um, it was sort of had the same sort of atmosphere, like, but we weren't just little idiots running around. We sort of knew what we were doing this time. What else do you sort of bring to the studio to make it seem more of a friendlier and homelier environment to work within? We we used to always just have um, um, spurts of stupidness, you know, and, and we uh, used to put each other in quad cases and, and do them up and hoon them up the hallway and crashing into walls and stuff and just doing stupid stuff you normally do around home. Did the studio managers mind about that? The um, the carpenter there had a bit of a fit, when well, just a few holes in the wall and stuff like that. Seriously? You put holes in the studio walls? Yeah, still there from like two years ago when we did Frogstorm. A major question I have to ask you is why did you cut your hair? It was sort of, um, first I said it as a joke and then um, I said, no, I'm going to do it. And then I said a date, I said the first day of the Christmas holidays and I went home and did it and I just thought, oh, this is so much more better. There's just no more worries, you know, just get up and go, you know, you don't have to worry about having a big mangled knot in the back of your head, you know, just waking up with bed head and stuff like that, you know. Short hair's heaps better. So you've never looked back? Never. And what about the other guys? They're not going to learn from your lesson? Uh, I don't know. Ben always talked about going his hair down to his ass, and I don't know, Just Daniel's just gives you a bit of a trim every now and then. I don't know. But you haven't been able to convert them? No, I want to give Ben a mohawk. I reckon he have the best mohawk if we cut that. <laughs> and what's his opinion of that? I, don't th- I haven't asked him yet.